Okay, operating costs. What is that? What is operating cost? Page 68. What does it mean to own a vehicle, basically? What, obviously, it doesn't just go with, hey, I buy the car, it's mine now. There's a lot of maintenance and routine maintenance you need to do for the car to last a long time. And, um, yes, that's a good one. So let's just, tomorrow. Yeah, good thing. I had one in the morning, so I thought I was done, but there's another one coming. Um, I should probably pause the video here, okay? Because it's it takes about the whole, probably the whole period. So, uh, operating costs. It's not just gas, guys. Uh, there are a couple of things. Um, oil changes. You probably know this already, but it is important that you change the oil every five thousand kilometers or every three months, guys. I just go with this. I change I change my own oil but you can go to that great Canadian oil change, Canadian tire, super lube. Just take it somewhere, get that oil change every three months. Because some, I mean, your manufacturer will tell you, but it's safe to change it more often than not, right? So oil changes, it's literally, it's the soul of your engine, right? The engine needs to run smoothly. And if you, if that oil that like, keeps on overheating, like it, it gets really hot and then really cold, really hot, really cold every time you use it. And every time it goes through that cycle, it loses some of its properties, right? It, it, it's no longer what it was when it was brand new. So you need to change it every three months. If you do that, you're gonna save so much money on other problems that come as a result of not changing it. It costs probably you know, if you get it done, 70 bucks, 50 bucks, it depends on where you go, but it's worth it. Yeah, I do it myself, but if you don't have a garage, if you, right, if you're not, if you're not handy, just get it done. Okay. Tire rotation. You need, you should have at least three examples from this list on your study sheet. If I ask you not gas and uh, gas is probably, I'm going to say other than gas, what else do you need to operate a vehicle? Tire rotation. I do that every year. I, I honestly would recommend yearly. What is a tire rotation? No, no, you don't just spin the tires. That's not what it means. It means, uh, if, if I'm just going to give you my version and some mechanics will disagree. Just go with what your mechanic says. It's all right. Okay. So if this is the front, and this is, ah, oh, we're going to be cut short. And that's fine. Uh, operating cost, basically, what, is, what does it take to, to uh, keep and maintain a vehicle, right? The province wants you to know a few. They may have multiple choice. They may have, <laughs> hey, uh, pick one of these and explain what that means. We don't know, right? So tire rotation, I do this every year. And I do it usually in the spring. So if this is the front of the car, this is the back, I take the front tires and I put them, I cross them out, and I and then I take the ones that were in the back, I bring them to the front. And everybody has a slightly different way of doing that, but every year I keep doing that. So my tires never stay in the same spot, right? And why would you say that is important? Well, some cars only have front traction, right? So in the winter or whatever, just in general, there will be more wear on those tires because you spin it and there that's where the torque happens, right, at, at first. So to prevent uneven wear, because if these wear out sooner than the back, now you need to buy two new tires sooner than you normally would. If you keep on doing this every year, the wear is even so now you might be able to get many years out of your tires by doing that every year a lot of you know what a lot of shops like hey do your oil change and we'll do a free tire rotation just go for it right like uh it's not that expensive but it saves you like tires just so you know for like a car a thousand dollars is not even that it's not exaggerating for four brand new tires, you're probably looking at a thousand bucks, 800 bucks, depends on the size of your car. And if it's a truck, 
little sedan, but it's a lot of money. And if you can like extend the life of them, why wouldn't you do it? So that's what tire rotation is. You basically keep rotating the tires on the car to prevent uneven wear. Sometimes your steering is slightly off, which means you need an alignment, but sometimes people don't notice. And you'll notice that the outside of the tire is worn out more than the inside. Uh, if you rotate it, then you're also preventing that from getting worse. You should probably get an alignment done on your steering, but that's another story. Uh, fuel filter replacement. Sometimes the fuel filter gets clogged up with debris because you bought gas from a shady gas station, who knows, right? And so uh, that is good to do oil filter replacement. By the way, your oil change should go together with an oil filter, like connect them like that. You, you should do it every time you do an oil change, you should replace your oil filter. Some of you already know this because you are either in a shop or you just know because uh, you somebody in your life told you to do that. Coolant flush. Uh, coolant is right like what basically cools your engine it's like special a special liquid that goes through the engine grabs the heat and then goes to the front where your radiator is and it just cools it and keeps flush keeps pumping it through the system and that cycle continues that liquid every once in a while this is like 80 to 100 thousand kilometers that's like once every 10 years maybe or seven to ten years it doesn't it shouldn't happen very often uh, just ask your mechanic they test it they can tell when it's due for replacement you shouldn't be replacing it every year for sure wheel alignment right if your steering is off right if steering is off how would you know that your steering is off well if this is your if this is your steering wheel and you have like some sort of right this and then uh, this is your steering wheel I don't know sorry I'm trying something but if if your logo or whatever or if you're if you're uh, driving and and you have to like hold it like sideways to still drive straight then you know your alignment is off Right? like if you're fighting it like you should be able to let go of your steering wheel and go straight if you have to fight it your alignment is off your tires are wearing out unevenly and all the components of your steering are also being affected so go get an alignment it's expensive it's 100 bucks plus depends on where you go but uh, then you're done when should you get an alignment if you do any kind of work on your front end you should get an alignment right after or if you hit a curb in the winter, you're like, mm, you hit a curb with your front tire, you probably need an alignment, right? There's a chance something is bent. They might even have to replace stuff. Okay. Uh, rust proofing. I do this. I'm going to start doing it this year. Uh, I bought myself, like you can go and look up some chemicals with an, a spray gun. And I just go under the car and I spray everything with like, it's like special... I use uh, PB Blaster, and so I go, that has like a little hose, and you go into every little hole you see in your car, and you just spray this thing, uh, and you prevent rust. Like, you literally prevent rust from building up. You should do it every year, every two years. Wiper replacement, very easy to do. Most people can do that themselves. Just look up a YouTube video. Air filter replacement. I don't know if you know this, but your engine mixes fuel with oxygen right with fresh air and there's an air filter that filters out any particles so that they don't come into your engine you should replace this i don't know guys uh, mechanics here nick what would you say every year what what is it yeah cold when you're in a shop check, too right just air compressed air. Yeah, you can just use that's what I do, and I'm hoping that's all right. Oh yeah, that's fine. Bugs, like I go out a lot, so bugs, whatever, are in there. So I just like, pfft. I go to the neighbor's house, to their yard, just pfft, like the neighbor, and do that. Um, battery replacement. 
every couple of years you'll notice your battery needs to be replaced. Like especially when it's minus 40, that's when you're gonna find out click, 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 right? Your engine isn't gonna do anything. Chances are your battery is dead. So plug it in, make sure you plug it in. That's right. Um, cap filter replacement, newer cars, they have a filter that filters the air coming into the cab of the car. So the newer ones, I would say, I don't know, has to be like 2010 and newer maybe, or it depends the, of the make of the vehicle. But nowadays, almost all cars have that, right? So you want to replace that on a regular basis. Pick two or three from this list. Know what they mean so that if I ask you or if the province asks you, give me an example of ongoing maintenance or just an operating cost that you can speak to it. Don't lose the free marks. I call these free marks if you've written something down on your study sheet. And you might be a little overwhelmed because I go into detail and you have no idea what I'm talking about. Just have some of these down. Um, and, uh, and, and if you need to be able to explain what, what, uh, why you would have to do that, okay? That's it for this part. Um, a lot of people want to cheap out on maintenance only to pay big bucks later. That's how I say, you want to pay it now or you want to pay it later? If you pay it now, it's a lot cheaper actually in the long run than paying it later when, the, when issues start to appear on your car. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, what I told everybody to try is, you might think, my goodness, there's lots of pages here, right? Um, yeah, because sometimes if I have time, I assign more. I talked about insurance. There was a video on insurance. I hope you've watched it. You're going to need to know something. Um, I will AC you tomorrow on it. So watch it if you haven't done so. It's not too bad. I hope you understand insurance broadly. You don't have to know all the details. I talk about a lot of things there. And uh, next is the, the test review. Where is that? Test review, page 86. I posted the key to this. There are a few typos, but I think you'll figure it out if you look at the key. I just posted the key. So the rest of today's class, not much time left, I know. So maybe update your study sheet, stuff like that. I'll bring the quizzes by. I don't think I'm gonna go over the quizzes. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, for the most part, 